Have you been dreaming of creating a day planner of your very own? Maybe it's one that will support the business that you already have, or maybe the planner will be your business. I see you dreaming out there. You've loved notebooks and pens and stationery ever since you were a kid, and you've always wanted to create a planner or journal of your own. You're in good company, my friend, because yep, me too. <laughs> Today, I'm going to tell you how to get started literally like the very first step that you need to take in order to make your planner dreams come true. You ready? Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Heather Harris, founder of Copper Bottom Design Co., your trusted source for custom planner design and development, as well as seamless, overseas production. For the past 20 years, I've been helping some of the most popular brands start and grow their businesses with beautiful, functional, and profitable planner products. And now it's your turn. Let's get you started. This is the first of three videos in a series on how to create a planner product to sell. So naturally, we're gonna start at step one, which is design and development. Now is the time to get your thoughts down on paper. You can create sketches or an outline in a Google Doc or compile a whole bunch of images on Pinterest. However you plan best is the perfect way to go. This is going to serve you best when starting this planner design process. Not only will these nitty gritty details help you with creating your planner philosophy, but they'll also help with branding and marketing details as you grow or move on to the next steps. These details that I want you to think about involve your ideal customer. I want you to be thinking about them specifically. How old are they? What do they do all day? Do they go to school? Are they being a parent? Are they a professional? What do they want to do? What are their goals? And how will they specifically go about achieving them? Is it through going through schooling if they're a student or perhaps a spiritual journey is what they're after? Think of all of these specific facts about your ideal customer and then how your product is going to support them in their life, in their goals and day-to-day. Day. Nailing down these details is going to help you develop this company or further develop your brand and your brand messaging. It's going to help you have information at the ready when you hire a brand designer, or it'll help you choose the size and construction of your planner when you're further down the design process and thinking about what it's actually going to look like and how it's going to be constructed. I have several videos on this that I'll link below because you're going to find them super helpful in this design phase. So all of these details is what I like to call your planning philosophy. Your planning philosophy is the core of your product and your brand. It's your mission. It's the reason why you exist and the reason why your product exists. And it's going to be the reason why each design element exists on the page. For example, is a habit tracker integral to your planning method? Or perhaps you lean more towards a journaling aspect and you want to include prompts on the page that will help set your client up for success. Developing this unique planning philosophy is vital. It's what's going to set your product aside from all the others on the shelves at Target. During this design and development phase, I highly suggest that you hire a designer, even if you are a designer. It's always very difficult to design for yourself. Have you ever tried to write your own about page for your website? It's like, ugh, it's so difficult to do. So don't bang your head against the wall. Don't make this process more difficult on yourself. I understand you might want to design it and you might want to dig into the DIY, which is great. And if you're super talented and really interested and have the time to do that, then go for it. But if this seems a little daunting or you're hesitant, it's best to outsource. Like, Look, building a business, launching a new product into the world is a huge feat <laughs> of its own. And so don't add more work onto your plate. You've got enough to do, trust me. And hiring a designer or having a team, having somebody to bounce ideas off of, it's gonna enrich the planner development and design process. You're gonna get feedback from outsiders. In your head, you might think that your method or your planning philosophy is pretty easy, but it's because it's all existing in your head. Did you give the write instructions? Does the design elements on the page, are they intuitive to somebody other than you? 
This is when having somebody else on your team or a consultant or a designer to bounce ideas off of is going to come in really handy. When we at Copper Bottom work with new design clients, we really dig into your philosophy. We want to know everything. We want to get inside your brain. So we will read your blog posts. We will read your books if you have any. We will want you to walk us through your entire client process. And we do this through several conversations on the phone where we listen to your philosophy, your methods, your teachings, and really try to fully understand your message and the feeling that you want your clients to have when they're using your product. I remember working with a client who had hired a designer to design her planner for her. And then she came to me for the production side of things. And this designer I had known through the industry and she's super talented. Like her stuff is gorgeous. I got the planner files and we're looking through them to make sure they're all set for the printer. And I noticed that on the planner page, every single page said January 12, January 13, January 14, but none of the pages had the day of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. While it seemed intuitive to the creator, my client and the designer that, oh, we have the dates on the page. From me being in this business for so long, I was able to quickly realize that the user, if they're in a meeting or if they're trying to plan something, they're going to have a really hard time finding out what date next Thursday is, for example. So you need to have little things like the day of the week and the date. So like I said, being a designer and hiring a designer is that no disrespect for your design talents. It's just having another perspective of somebody who's been in the industry for so long that can help you with the user experience. It's one thing to be a great designer and you can have something that looks beautiful like this planner did, but it wasn't great on the usability standpoint. When I say we make beautiful and functional planners, that's what I mean. Beauty needs to meet high functionality. It's best to have an expert on your side. I want you to start getting those dreams down onto paper because we are gonna make this planner or journal or whatever product you wanna make a reality this year. Check the description box on this video. I have several links that are gonna help you on your journey. One is a link to several freebies that I have on my website that are perfect for this design and development phase. My favorite happens to be the five things your planner must include if it's going to sell. This guide is a must. You need to download that first. Two is a link to a playlist here on YouTube all about developing your unique planner philosophy. And number three, click the subscribe button. Next week will be step two on how to create a planner product to sell. And you definitely don't want to miss it. And if you have any questions, as always, please hit me up in the comments. I want nothing more than to take you from dream to day planner. See you next time.